The Lawn Mower Man, 1992, uh, Pierce Brosnan. I have had this on my list for a long time because due to the AI world we're now living in, it seems to be way more relevant than it has ever been. And I think also it's known as a cult classic. I didn't realise that. But I think a film like that has to be called a cult classic or otherwise no one's going to watch it. <laughs> um, so it's certainly not a perfect movie. But I, I, I like Pierce Brosnan in it. What are your thoughts? Um, I, I like the underlying premise. I mean, it's, it's one of those where the um, artistic uh, in in uh, atten uh, the artistic intentions um, are somewhat greater than the actual final version on the screen. Okay, that said, for what is um, you know can be seen as a, a throwaway B movie. It had some interesting ideas. It goes back to Flowers to uh, Flowers for Algernon or, or the film Charlie in the 1960s about improving someone's mental capacities. And um, the, the subject of this change is can we um, restore full cognitive abilities? And of course, it's not only that, he exceeds it and becomes superhuman. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that in a way is how it's different. I'm I'm, I'm gonna talk about like say Elon Musk and Sam Altman, because it, very, very much you could, you, could, you could say that Pierce Brosnan's character, Dr. Angelo is similar to, I would say Sam Altman in that he's brought about chat GPT. He has this, his ethos seems to be put it out there, see what happens. And if it goes bad, we'll kind of pull it back. That seems to be his ethos. So all, throughout this, all of this film, you've been constantly reminded that you can't come back because it gets addictive. You, 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 they start out with the premise of this is better for humanity. This is going to, this is going to cure people of Alzheimer's. But in fact, when you have the power and control, you, you, you get lost in it. It's like a drug. And, that's what happens to Job, the 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 lawnmower man, who's um, very low IQ at the beginning, but is helped to get a higher IQ. But the difference is, is that we aren't using AI to say, "Oh, we want to enhance your brain power." We're we're actually admitting we want it to overtake humans. So it's a different conversation, I think. I, I, th I think there are a number of comments that I've seen, and I think one of them is, "I would like AI to do my washing and the dishes." not write my novels mm. or perform my concerto mm. yeah it, it's a case of where do humans fit into this mm. i i'm quite positive about ai as a tool to help you do things on the internet um i'm not so keen on the idea that you replace human beings with material which is generated by ai I agree. I think that's that's your personal view. And I think it's a view probably shared. But I think we have this detachment in the UK of kind of thinking it's all a little game. But what this lawnmower man was trying to say something profound. And actually, weirdly enough, we are now in this profound world, whereas, in fact, it isn't just going to be doing our washing. It's not. It's going to be doing a lot more. And it's going to <clears throat> it's it's almost like we know the movie Lawmo Man. We know these stories. We've seen Terminator, but we're going to do it anyway. That's what I find absolutely amazing. So we know that this could go bad. Well, I, I, I take you back one stage and just think about social media. In most countries, not all, but most, it is considered as a form of publishing. Okay. And there are legal constraints about what you can do with publishing. Okay. Um, we've had some fairly high profile cases of people being uh, sued successfully for the tweets they've sent out. Oh, yeah. Yes. Of course. And um, those who mount the platforms do not want to take responsibility for what all and sundry put up. And we seem to have just forgotten that. Um, it's not okay just to say something, okay? given the number of times people are putting up uh, wholly inappropriate uh, material.
so we, we have the precedent of social media. Yeah. Not becoming a monster, mm. but there are some bad uses. Right. OK. OK. I see. So that was that was OK. Yeah, of course. So these things are. But I, I'm more worried about and what the film does well is it it's this control. And there's some great lines in the film. Um all the intelligence of the world, and you're still not understanding the human heart, is is something that Angelo says to Job. Job says, "I am God." Um, Doctor Angelo says, um, "What you've become isn't real. You you are not real." So, I mean, these really great lines, and you do hope that Sam Altman and these people maybe watch this film and listen to these lines. And do we want to go from a place where? So, for me, it's about totally removing ourselves from humanity and saying that's okay uh, um, i yeah. mean j just in the instance there job is um you know it's using computer enhancement to improve his intelligence and there is the the old um saying that we only use about 10 percent of our, of our capacity in our mm -hmm. brains mm -hmm. so potentially what is happening is he is able to process more and uh, understand more now that's a human being who is enhanced using learning tools. Yes. That's that's one way of thinking about it. He actually says he actually says in it, and we'll we'll close this up now. But um, he um, he's able to use all his brain. And actually, if you go back into myths and legends, and or maybe in other um, cultures, they're able to use that part of the brain, and we've forgotten how to use it. Uh -huh. So he's not actually anything special. He's just he's using all of his brain which is another idea of, wow, imagine if we could use, AI could help us use all of our brain. Is, is that such a bad thing? So I think it is well balanced in that respect and that it's it's not saying one is good or one is bad. I think for me, losing humanity and losing the understanding of what humanity is about seems to be what makes the film so strong. And I do think people should watch it. Um, the graphics are so bad, but it kind of shows where we were at in 1992. Uh, and, and yes, that is the key point. Yeah. That is um, an expensive film, and we look at it now, and cheap video games are far better than that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They're but definitely worth a watch, and um, and if you can just get past the first... Uh... The first five minutes, which are which is atrocious, <laughs> you'll have you'll have a good ride. <laughs> and um, yeah, another another thing, fondly, fondly remember for the for the uh, aspirations as opposed to the execution. Absolutely, I, I this is a weird thought, but I actually thought Job, the character who plays Job, looks like Sam Altman, and that really freaked me out. <laughs> I suddenly thought, are we living in some weird thing where they're actually the same people? I don't know how that could work, but anyway. Uh, if you if you want to cross reference it, there are parts of Dollhouse, which oh. tap into that sort of issue as well. Oh, Dollhouse! Sorry, what? what tell me a bit about that film. That's a, a Joss Whedon TV series. Ah, Joss Whedon, okay, where uh, people voluntarily um, have their identities overwritten, um, and it really goes back to the Jerry Anderson show of of the 1960s um joe 90. right so in 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 that instance um joe was a nine-year-old boy and his father had a machine that could give him the training and the brain waves of experts in the field mm -hmm. okay so potentially joe could be trained to be a jet pilot an astronaut um a spy whatever was needed and in dollhouse the same basic idea applied as well okay That's now what eventually happens is that one of the scientists said do you know what we could reprogram people with just um you know a phone call and whoever picks it up gets the reprogramming and starts attacking those people who didn't oh okay it's quite and you know it and you know in although it's not played out entirely in the tv series um that ends up happening and you see the repercussions of it right okay i'll have to check that out so but the potential for um ai induced learning mm. might not be as positive as we hope no i agree i agree mm -hmm.